how did your workout go today? I think it went well. Uh, the group was really well, was really good. We we competed. There was a lot of good communication, and uh, uh, yeah, it was a good it was a good workout today. Yeah, I'm sure. And um, you're from Denmark, right? Yes, correct. Um, I think there's only been one NBA player from Denmark, and it hasn't been uh, and it hasn't been in quite a while. Uh, what uh, I guess what would it mean to you to make the NBA and represent your country? Knowing well, that was that would be the goal uh, for for my career in, in basketball, and it would mean everything. Uh, not just only for me, but also for Danish basketball uh, to get more exposure. I think we got good up and coming talent in, in Denmark, and I would love to to be able to show that Denmark is also a basketball country. And um, how did you kind of grow up as a basketball player in a country that um, you know hasn't produced as much NBA as many NBA players as some others in in Europe? Right. Uh, I I started I started actually sort of late. Uh, probably we don't have high school like in here in the U.S. So it was probably more like f between 15 and 16 years old. That's when I started playing competitively. Uh, before that, I was playing soccer and handball, big sports in Denmark. Uh, so I started late, um, but we have uh, we have some good coaches over there who who knows how to guide players and uh, know that at, at that point of time when I was in Denmark, uh, I knew I wanted to get out of Denmark because there were bigger markets out there. So that's why I chose college and hopefully get more exposure here in the U.S. Neil. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm curious, just how do you feel that the Wizards workout was especially unique or stood out compared to maybe other workouts that you've been through? Well, I like the, the, that the, there was a lot of emphasis on us and that we had to communicate. We had to bring the energy um, that the workout was only going to be as good as how we made it. Uh, and they made that clear and started a workout. And I like that. So it's up to us as the players to bring the energy, uh, make the workout, uh, make the most of the workout. It's not their job to coach energy, as they said. Yeah. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Andrew. Hey, man, you kind of mentioned starting at a late age. So I'm curious what that learning curve is like. I mean, a lot of the guys you've been playing with have been, you know, they woke up, you know, they were born and picked up a basketball. So for you, you know, how difficult is it trying to catch up to them in terms of, you know, just the nuances of the game? Well, you know, it, it's, it takes a lot of hard work just to, to play at a high level in basketball. So I had a lot of catch up on. So it was a, a lot of late nights and early mornings. Um, but I love playing basketball, so it wasn't a problem. Um, and of course, there was there's a huge learning curve in basketball because it's such a unique sport. You have to know everything in it. You have to play offense, defense, the nuances, as you said. Uh, it's not just scoring points. It's also helping the team in other ways. So it, it's, it's, I'm, sure, I'm still learning. Uh, and, and I, I want to learn and I want to keep learning. Uh, and I don't think uh, my ceiling is, is, is anywhere in sight so far. So, yeah, I'm just, I just want to keep going. Chase. Yeah, you, you made, uh, obviously, after transferring a huge jump in your production, going from averaging like one point to 14. Um, did you think you'd be in this position uh, a year ago and uh, working out for NBA teams? And, and just kind of what led you to, to getting to this point? Well, I, I try not to look too far in the, in the future. I, I, that's unnecessary pressure, I feel like. Uh, just take it day by day, uh, improve every day. Uh, there was a coach, I, I'm sure a lot of coaches say that, but one of my coaches said, as long as you improve 1% every day, if you get 1% better, uh, then you, you, you have a productive day. So that's what I try and focus on. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was, it was a huge, huge change from, from, my, from my one role into the, to the most leading role um but i think i think i embraced it and and i made, made the most of it first of all this was your first full pro, pro season uh you got to experience the mvp playoffs you made your debut uh, in the national team and you also played the fiba american america's champions league what was your favorite uh, moment or what memories do you take from your first full pro, pro season uh, the the most important moment for me. Yes, or uh, whether it was a moment or a specific game or uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's the the first game in the 
basketball Champions League because we we was playing against the 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 actual camp what actual champion and everybody think they will want us but we play really good we did a great job in, in the court and particularly was my was a great game i did a great game there and we won this game for me it was the moment the the biggest moment in the in the season okay thank you yeah Hey, um, Tommy Shepard and the Wizards really pride themselves on, you know, international talent. They don't care about, you know, where somebody plays from, where they're coming from, as long as they can play. Um, they've had guys like Nene and Howell Neto. What does that mean to you that, you know, an organization is just so open about, you know, giving everybody a fair shake, no matter where you come from? Yeah, for me, it's, re it's really good because, like you said, he have a great players from Brazil, like Nene and Raul. And for me, it's, uh, it's good because uh, if I bring to the team uh, what they want, they will give me the opportunity. And I'm just looking for one opportunity to show my game, to show what I can do. And for me, that is a great, great organization. Is there anything that stood out to you about today's workout? Anything unique or special that really caught your attention or stuck with you? Uh, one thing that I like today, yeah, or anything that just stood out in your head of, oh, that was something different. Oh, yeah, it's because in the, we are so tired because we are working out. And in the last few minutes, they said, hey, let's, you have to run all the court uh, for two minutes. And you run, 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 run. And the finish of this, it was so tight. <laughs> that was crazy. Do you know how many laps you made? Oh, I think it was 16, 17. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the way. Okay. Appreciate it. Lucas. At the beginning of last season, you took a lot of catch and shoot jumpers, but at the end of last season, actually, you also created a bit off the dribble, take uh, a few step back jumpers as well. Uh, is that actually something you've been working on since the end of the season? Uh, or what aspects of shooting have have you been working on since then? Yeah, one thing that I that are really working is my mid range mid range game. Mm -hmm. Because in the last season, uh, I was a three point spot spot up shooter and a defense defense player, and I know to finish around the rim. But uh, in the finish of this season, I'm really working my in my mid range game. Okay, thank you. And one more question, maybe. Uh, what po uh, position do you consider yourself in, in the NBA? Is it the three? Is it a stretch four? Like many NBA teams nowadays play uh, really undersized. Yeah, uh, I think I can play in the point guard, shooting guard, small four and ball four. But for me, the, the, my, my first position is a shooting guard. How'd your workout go today? I had a pretty good workout. Um, got after it, got some shots up. And um, looking at your uh, looking at your backstory, uh, I guess your dad was drafted in the NBA, right? Yes, he was. Um, but I, I understand he he was never able to play, unfortunately. So what's it like trying to kind of go through this and your dad getting so close, uh, and you you getting close to realizing that NBA dream? Oh, really? Uh... It's pretty big. Like I feel like he's he's proud of me. He wanted to, um, he wants the best for me. He always talked to me every day about his experience and stuff he missed out on. So he just wanted me to take advantage of my situation. Lucas. Hi Jaden. First of all, congrats for your great freshman season. Um in tennis in Tennessee, you played in a very special system. I mean, you uh, didn't run a lot of pick and rolls, not so many as many pick and rolls as other colleges maybe uh, but you also posted a lot up with point guards with uh, wings and so on uh, what do you think you can take uh, from that experience playing in, the, in this system to succeed in the nba i feel like i can take all the stuff i learned um 
Coach Barnes, he taught us a lot. We watched a lot of film. We learned a lot of sets and a lot of plays. So I can take that knowledge that he gave me and bring that into going to the, uh, the NBA. Neil? Hey, Jaden. I'm just curious for you. You know, you were a good percentage three-point shooter in your loan season at Tennessee, but not a ton of volume. Do you feel like that's an aspect of your game where you're trying to show teams that, yes, you can be a consistent, high-volume three-point shooter in the NBA? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely um, something I want to show. Um, I feel like I can definitely shoot the ball. So just me being able to, to showcase that probably be one of the biggest things right now. And is there anything special that stood out to you about this workout that was especially difficult or hard that, you know, will stick with you for, you know, a long time? Uh, I just feel like we just had a good all-around workout. Um, we got some shots up. We went through some plays. Um, they, they taught us. They dropped some knowledge on us about the right reads and stuff like that. So um, they definitely came and they were definitely ready to teach. And then we got after it. So had a good time. Thanks. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Chris. Hey, Jaden. Um, your teammate at Tennessee, uh, Yves Pons, was in here earlier in the week. Um, did you talk to him about what to expect in the Wizards workout? And is that kind of commonplace among prospects um, as you're going from team to team? I mean, nah, me, me and Eve, we, um, we had a workout with each other um, a, a, a month, like three workouts ago. Um, we were just talking, catching up with each other. We weren't really talking about no other workouts, so I didn't really ask him about that. Thanks, dude. Yep. Lucas, you have another? Um, <clears throat> you have uh, played in the Under Armour circuit for many, many years, and you all, all always played against yeah, uh, older uh, competition. How much did it help your development to play up in age through the whole Under Armour uh, circuit? Uh, I feel like it helped me out a lot. Um, even since I was a little kid, I always been the youngest. So I just got used to trying to like compete and playing against older, bigger guys. So I feel like that just helped me out along my whole career. Thank you. One, one more question. Do you uh, consider yourself more a primary ball handler or a secondary ball handler in the NBA? I feel like right now I'll be more of a secondary ball handler, but I feel like um, as time goes on, I'm going to work my way into being a primary uh, ball handler or be more of a, uh, a combo, whatever the team would need. Thanks a lot and good luck. Gotcha. Chase. Uh, yes. Um, how do you think you could help the Wizards specifically? How do you think you'd fit in and how do you think you could help? I feel like I come in, um, be a tough physical guard. Um, I feel like I can lock up on defense or offense. I can facilitate. I can score the ball if you need me to. Uh, yeah, I got two great guards in Bradley Beal and uh, Russell Westbrook. So I feel like those are two guys I can definitely come in and learn a lot from. And I feel like being around those guys will help me take my, my career to another level. All right, Lucas, one more. Um, do you have any players uh, actually you looked up to or you watched in order to mold your game? Um, I don't. I don't just look at one specific player. Um, I take a lot from a bunch of guys. I'm a fan of basketball, so um, I watch guys like Bradley Beal, Russell Westbrook, uh, John Morant, Chris Paul. Um, the list just goes on. I watch all of those guys. So just try to take stuff from all their games. 